Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Beth. And today I'm going to be showing you some of my work in Kin Matsuda's coloring book. So let's let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Let's take a look. It's been a while since I've worked in this. And I actually want to do it again. Now this one was one of the first that I ever did. And as you can see, it is shiny. I used Neo colors and ink tents. And can you see that at all? Let's take a look. Yeah, not too bad. The thing about this particular page, um, I use the uh, Daniel Smith pearlescent ground. First time I used it, and this stuff was so shiny. I actually had trouble seeing the page under it, the picture. So yeah, I need to redo this picture. And I had cut the page out and put it on my own paper, which may or may not have helped. Okay. This is another one, another bird one. I used Prisma colors on this and uh, some, uh, what do they call it, Posca pins, I think. I also think I use, yeah, I used Neos. I did a lot more of the um, detail down on bottom and less on top, mainly because I just petered out. I just couldn't keep going. But I really like the effect that this kind of blurred out a little bit because it was farther away. And I like that look. Even if that's not why it happened. Okay. Let's see here. Happy accidents. I do lots of happy accidents. Probably should have gone through and tagged these. I didn't. Okay. The turtle one. I used Prismacolors and Distress Inks. One of the few times I used Distress Inks. I'm not that good at them. You know, I see some of those people on on YouTube, you probably watch them and they're like just amazing. Yeah, I'm not. But I think I did pretty good, considering. I think I was more interested in the leaves, because leaves are kind of like my thing. And I needed a whole lot more different varieties of green. But yeah. This was done in September of last year, so that's going back a ways. I did pretty good, considering my skill level back then. Ah. This one is actually one of my favorites. It is a Neocolor Prisma and Mozart. And I have ground written on here. By the feel of it, I'm going to say that's Daniel Smith. But I was pretty impressed with how this came out.
Um, I really liked how the flowers came out. The leaves I really liked. The uh, This was copper. And I had intended at first for that to be a shadow. And it turned more organic than that. So now I kind of feel like he's a dead fox. But uh, there's also a silver on uh, Mozart paint. Um, looking at it now, I totally forgot the little stymen or steamen or whatever they're called. But they're white. Okay, they're white. Yeah, yeah. I was very happy with that. This is another one I'm actually kind of happy with. This is almost a year old. Um, it, uh, oh, I did this with Castle Arts. That's unusual. Castle Arts are not on my top list of pencils. I mean, they're okay. They are okay. And it may be I used them because I hadn't, I didn't have my prism colors yet. I'm going to bet that's it. That was just simply the best thing I had. Um, yeah. Messing around with my leaves, learning how to do the leaves, learning how to do fur. Yeah, I enjoyed this page. Ah, here we go. October of last year. Uh, I don't have anything written down. That there is a ground on that. I'm gonna guess Daniel Smith. Prismacolor, maybe, maybe Castle Arts. Uh, those eyes have the grit paste. Oh, that's paint. There's neos on here. The uh, bird totally confused me. I had no idea how that face went together. You know, but other than that, yeah. I need to work more on my flowers, but my leaves were doing okay. And I like, that must have been one of the first times I used purple as a shade for white. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, this one came out really horrible. One thing is, it was misprinted. It, was, it had this strange break right across here. Didn't know what to do with this. Didn't know what to do with any of this background. I think I started it and then just gave up. Yeah, I didn't even date it. It's like, eh. So. Can I fix it? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Something to think about. I might be able to. But do I want to? This little birdie has a ground. Feels like Daniel Smith. Pretty rough. Um, I think I think I don't have anything written on here, so this was from last year. I remember that. Gonna say Prismacolor and Neo 2. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It is different. I think I'm trying to learn how to do feathers here. It didn't work too well, but it's a start. And my leaves, I was just messing around. Yeah, clearly, because they're not very good. It was last year sometime. And is that the last one? I think so. Yep, 
It's the last one. So there we go. Everything I've done in Kin Matsuda's book. And I, I am going to do another one next month. It's time to give this book a little bit more love. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.